find the internal loads in the middle of the beam. I want to know what's happening at L over 4. First thing you have to do is draw the free body diagram, then solve for the external reactions. That's pretty much what we've been doing all the way through the semester, so I'm just going to short circuit that a little bit. B is going to be 6.55, AY is going to be 5.1178, and AY's AX is going to be 7.0711 newtons. So once I've done that, now I want to draw a free body diagram of the piece of the beam. I'm going to put on my free body diagram all of the external loads that I've just solved for, and any external load that exists on my piece of the beam. So I'm going to go to halfway down the beam. If I'm dealing with a 10 meter beam, this is 2.5 meters and 2.5 meters. Here's my 5 newton load. I'm going to include the 5 newton load because it's on my piece. I'm not including the 10 newton load because it's not. Now I want to put on my internal reactions following all of my sign conventions and solve. I'm going to write equilibrium equations for my piece of the beam free body diagram. So the sum of the forces in X gives me N equals negative 7.0711. The sum of the forces in Y tells me that 5.5178 minus 5 minus V is equal to 0, which gives me V equals 0 0.5178. And if I take the sum of the moments about the break, I get 5.5178 acting at a distance of 5 meters minus 5 acting at a distance of 2.5 meters, because those act in opposite directions, and minus m, that's my internal moment. I can solve that to get m is equal to 15.089 newton meters. Once I've done that, all I have to do is answer the question. The internal loads at the midpoint are n equals minus 7.07 .07 newtons, v is 0 0.518 newtons, and m is 15.1 newton meters. Notice that I've got this negative sign here. That tells me that the beam is in compression and that the beam is in positive shear and a positive bending moment. I do not have to include directions on my internal forces because that's all taken care of with my sign conventions.